All right, we have the lucky portable fish finder here for you today. Now I got this because we're about to go on a fishing tour on a big boat in a month or two, and I do not like going fishing and not catching anything. The big question you're gonna have is, does this work? And the answer is, yes, it does. Now this is the handheld receiver that you've got. You will take the transducer. I will say when I got this, I don't know anything about fish finders. This is the first one I've ever used. I thought this was a plug. <laughs> it's not, it's a transducer. The transducer, I think, or the sensor, whatever it is. And what you'll find is, you see this little rubber plug here? That keeps the uh, sonar thing suspended from the water. So this will float on the water surface. This is a hollow plastic buoy or dinghy, and it will suspend this in the water, and then it will ping the fish down below. And you'll see that you've got a really, really long cable, which you can use to then plug it into the handheld receiver. So that really long cable ends in this plug, and then you'll take the plug, and plug it into the top of the receiver here. Just like so, it's very easy then to turn on. You just hold this button down, you're gonna charge it with a supplied USB cable. There you go, we're on. And what I do like is you've got an option because I wanted to take this out to see if it worked and without actually a fishing spot nearby, I just wanted to see what it looked like. And if you put it on simulation, it gives you a nice sort of preview as to how it will look when you are actually fishing. And you can see it shows you the depth that the fish is at. It shows you the bottom, how deep it is, the temperature, and also gives you some indication as to where seaweed uh, is. If you're looking to fish in those areas or go crabbing there, which is what we're looking to do as well. So that's how it looks. We wanted to test whether this worked before we went on our fishing trip. So my brother and I took out this little ridiculous paddle boat um, into the middle of a river. And it was a very shallow river with very tiny fish. We could tell there were tiny fish because the people who hired us the boat when we got back they caught like nine or 10, like really like two inch yellow tail. Um, so we knew there were fish there, they weren't big. We dangled this off the side of the paddle boat. When I say paddle boat, I don't mean a paddle seam, I mean like you use your legs, it was the most ridiculous thing. Anyway, we dangled this off the edge and it really worked in terms of the depth because we were in some very shallow water. There were some people walking around in it. It showed the depth accurately. When we got under the bridge where there were pylons, that's where you'd expect the fish, and then it really did start peeing a lot of fish. I will say the temperature reading seemed a bit off. It was a very hot day, so it was about 27 degrees Celsius, like 80 Fahrenheit in the air, but the water clearly wasn't that temperature. It seemed to be measuring the air temperature more than the sea temperature, but that's not really a bother to me. So as I said, you charge it with the included USB cable. It should have enough charge for you easily to take it out for a day. And the guys there that hired us about, they were so impressed by it and by the price of it, because it's good value. You could easily pay three or four times as much for a similar unit or com comparable unit for what I want. I'm pretty sure I convinced them to get one as well. Because if you're like me and you don't really want the really fancy gear, but you just, when you go fishing, you want to catch a fish, right? I don't enjoy it, unlike some other people when they go fishing. It's like, oh, it's just the experience. He gives you patience. No, I want to catch a fish. So will it help me catch a fish? I don't know. But does it detect fish? Absolutely. We also want to go crabbing when we go on our fishing tour. So apparently, according to my brother anyway, we're going to look for the seaweed, which the display shows. And we're going to put the nets down where the seaweed is. So good value for money. Does it work? Yes, which was obviously the main thing.